few words about uh, tax controversy uh, perspective. One may ask, what, uh, uh, why, why tax controversy here? Uh, the answer is uh, simple, uh, because we, we believe that the full process uh, regarding uh, implementation safety within the entity should also cover proper preparation to the upcoming electronic tax audits, which what when, uh, we may be sure, which will take advantage of the data, of the scope, of the range of the data included in uh, SAFTI files. Uh, we may expect that the, from the tax authorities' perspective, the data provided by us in SAFTI will be electronically tested by tax authorities. Secondly, will be also electronically analyzed by tax authorities. And last but not least, will be also electronically compared with the data already gathered and already processed by tax authorities from the other, um, other taxpayers, other companies from, from, uh, from Poland. Especially the, the last point is important in the light of the purpose of the safety in Poland. Because, as you may remember from the part carried out by Alexandra, the safety file will be requested by, from, the, from the taxpayers not only during the formal proceedings, formal tax audit, but this is the Polish practice that the safety file we, will need to be delivered to tax authorities almost on each request, on each demand. Why this is going to happen in Poland? Because based on the information provided by us in the safety file, tax authorities would like to have more knowledge, more ability to properly and correctly identify and select taxpayers to be audited and also to identify and select tax areas that should be subject to more detailed scrutiny and audit with res uh, during the special tax audit carried out in the, in the, uh, in the tax buyer. We may expect that the data that, that are going to be delivered to the tax authorities under SAF SAFT will be also subject to benchmarking analysis, will be also compared to, uh, with the data provided already by other taxpayers. In order to find by tax authorities some variances, discrepancies or errors that could be analyzed, audited, checked during, during tax audit. What is also worth to be mentioned is that the Polish tax administration is is preparing to such activities. Uh, Polish tax administration is currently in the middle of the process of establishing a special vehicle, vehicle special, cor special corporate entity, special company that is going to be solely owned by the Polish tax administration. And this company is going to hire a large amount of the data analyzers to create, to build, strong group of specialists in order to support Polish tax administration with the electronic, electronic uh, analysis, electronic uh, checks of the data uh, gathered and provided in, in uh, SAFTI. Mateusz said that the SAFTI is not a tool for the taxpayers, it's rather it should be rather considered as a tool for the tax administration. And this is exactly the way how the tax, Polish tax administration understands SAFT. The SAFT is rather treated as a proper instrument, proper tool to, that should allow Polish tax administration to increase, increase tax revenues and from the other side to decrease VAT, VAT gap that is, which, which, which is still quite significant here uh, in Poland. Taking, taking this landscape uh, into account, uh, we, we think uh, that is 
very important. This is crucial to analyze, to test, to test information and data that we are going to include in our SAF, safety files that, that are going to be delivered to the, to the tax authorities. It is strongly important to think about it quite right now, not as soon as the appropriate request is delivered to us, because as Alexandra has said already, we are, the deadlines that we are going to face with respect to the safety uh, would be quite tight. We, we should have not uh, the, 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 the deadline not shorter than three days, and what we may rather expect, the deadline for us would be would, would, would include seven or 14 days, and this deadline, taking into account the, the, the range, the scope, and the size of the data that is going to be included in the safety is still quite, quite tight. So taking also, the, uh, taking also into account the, the our personal responsibility, our personal fiscal penal responsibility that is connected with the quality of data, of data included in SAFT, and also with the, the sole process of delivering timely and correctly delivering the SAFT uh, to Polish tax authorities. This is the reason how we, uh, for, from which we, understand, we, we think that it's very crucial, very important to, 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 to think about the quality of data right now before the, the moment when we are obliged to present the soft T appears. Our understanding is that the full process, full process uh, uh, of preparing for the upcoming electronic tax audits should cover at least these four stages. First of all, we should take advantage of the test described already by Marcin and assess the, the risks uh, identify, identified through and as a result of such electronic test. Under the stage two, we should simply think and decide about on, on the further course of action. The stage three is simply the delivering the appropriate defense files, proper argumentation or simply correcting our tax returns if needed. And stage four is simply active, actively acting during the electronic tax audit carried out by the Polish tax, uh, tax authorities. Few words about each of these stages. Martin has already mentioned, mentioned the, the tool that we that we should use with respect to the data uh, stored electronically. Uh, Marcin described the, the tool uh, EY, that is called EYGuard, and this tool is very similar to the methodology and the approach we expect from the tax, tax, uh, tax uh, authorities. And once this tool, the, the test, uh, the, 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 the test that will be delivered by this tool, identify some, some potential areas of task risk, we need to analyze the documents and information provided by, by us, provided by our company, in order to, to assess the risk, to think about the volume and the level of risk related to these part, potential tax, tax areas in order to decide what we should do with these particular items. And based on this, we may, simply, we may simply decide whether some areas spotted through this test are, sim are the areas that we are feel quite comfortable and we are ready to defend this pot through or in, in the course of the potential tax audit. And in order to do so, it would be the best moment to, to prepare for, for such uh, conversation, for such disputes, in, if needed. And after such conclusion, it would be the moment after which we are simply build the argumentation. Uh, we can store this argumentation in the defense file. We may also prepare the persons which, which can be potentially heard as a witnesses. We can also prepare our company for the electronic tax audit through the process of the 
mock tax audit performed by the external advisors. And finally, in case we spot some areas where we, are, where we do not feel quite comfortable, we can simply go with the appropriate correction of tax return to the, to the tax office. Stage, stage three, uh, stage three uh, includes the preparing to the upcoming, upcoming tax, tax audit and preparing the appropriate corrected tax return, uh, which, I, which uh, I described already. And the last stage, the, sta the, the final stage, the stage number, number four, describes the situation where the electronic tax audit appears, when the electronic tax audit uh, comes to our, to our premises. It is quite important from, and uh, we, uh, I, I'm saying this, taking in, into account our previous uh, practice uh, with respect to the Polish uh, beh behavior of the Polish tax authorities, it is very crucial and important to present, to play an active role from the very beginning, to do our best to explain as many and as much as we can from the very beginning of the tax audit in order to be quite sure that we did almost everything we could before the final protocol from the tax audit inspectors is delivered to us. Thank you. I may hand over to Radek. Once again, thank you very much for making the time for that webcast. Thank you for your active participation and uh, hopefully if you have any uh, questions or problems regarding SAFT, we will be uh, we'll be happy uh, uh, to assist uh, and help out uh, with the uh, uh, with the implementation process. Thank you for, uh, very much for today.